Styling Fam, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a bippity boppity box to open for you guys. I am so excited. Recently I also opened a Magic at Your Door box and now we have finally gotten another bippity boppity box. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy and will stick around and subscribe. I said this recently in my Magic at Your Door unboxing, which you can check out up here if you missed it, but I will be going back to getting subscription boxes. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do them every other month. That way I can kind of mix up a bit of hauls, a bit of subscription boxes, all sorts of stuff for you guys now that I am here in Orlando. But today we have this lovely box to open for you guys. So let's see what's inside. Okay. So we have a little Rescuers Down Under card to start with. Super cute, oh my gosh, really underrated movie. And then we have another little card that just says, a quick note about your box. This month's box contains fewer items of higher value as opposed to more items of lesser value. We hope you love it. Okay. So I will say, I definitely thought that this box seemed a little bit smaller than usual, but that totally explains why. And I did select that on my preferences. I am totally a quality over quantity kind of girl. So really excited for that. We have our little spoiler sheet. So I'm gonna just set this aside till the very end and then we'll go ahead and go over it together. And the cutest little sticker there ever was. I always feel so bad opening this. Let's see if we can, I like never managed to open that nicely. Okay. I see absolutely nothing but white looking through here. No colors peeking out at me. <gasps> I know what one item is. Okay, I just kind of pushed it aside a little bit and I saw some pink with sprinkles, which tells me we have the donut ears. Okay, I am actually really excited about this. I had put off buying these for the longest time because I wasn't too sure if I needed them or not, but like as a Disney and donut lover, yeah. I, I need them. And it's kind of funny because they are in a very similar color palette to the ears that I am wearing. Unfortunately, I am going to keep these ears on just because they match with my shirt better. They both have the Japanese wave in them, but these are super cute ears and I will definitely find use for these and we will take some cute photos. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just gotta finish getting all the little confetti pieces off of you. So, all right, item number one are these adorable, relatively new donut ears from the parks. We still got a lot of confetti stuck on you. This material really likes to uh, cling on to this packaging material. All right, we're good to go. So next, ooh. <gasps> This is cute. What is this? Okay, we have a Castle Babe pin, which I think this is actually my first ever Castle Babe pin. I have been following Castle Babe for quite some time. I love her stuff. I have just never actually like pulled the trigger to like purchase any of it. But ooh, okay, this is cute. We have a ice cream cone and I am pretty sure this is representing Daisy Duck because I love the pastel vibes and the bow. Yeah, this is adorable and it's gonna go on my little pink and girly cute pin board. Love this. Okay, continuing on. I think we just have one more item in here. Ooh, what is this? I have never seen this, but I am liking it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really cool. I, wow. Okay, it is a Loungefly wallet, which this is like a kind of fake leathery texture. It kind of looks like a damask type print and it has all of these different reliefs of princess imagery and castles. It is like super subtle Disney to the max. 
and then it is all white and gorgeous the hardware on it is rose gold and then on the inside you have this shimmery pink so let me show you a close-up of this because you really cannot appreciate it until you really look at this close up all right so here is the front side of this wallet and you can see we've got the castle we've got ariel and then up here we've got like a snow white with an apple we've got a bit of bell we've got cinderella we've got cinderella's coach here that is just really pretty and unique like wow and then here is the back side, basically the same exact patterns. Here we can see there is also a rose for Belle. We didn't get that on the other side just because the lounge fly logo covered it up. And then like I said, on the inside is this really pretty like shimmery pink. And then we also have this little gold, rose gold hardware element. This is super pretty. I would actually be kind of afraid to use this and get it dirty just because it is so white and beautiful, but I feel like I would totally use this in like some photos, some flat lays, because oh my gosh, yeah. This is a really unique piece, and I've never seen this before. I wonder if this came out... So I did see someone in the parks with a lounge fly bag like two days ago and it was pink and it had some castles and like the Disneyland D and I thought it was the prettiest thing I have ever seen and apparently it was released earlier this year already sold out but uh I had totally missed that so this might be from a kind of similar collection or similar time period but I really like this it definitely ticks all of my kind of boxes for favorites with like the color scheme being like pink and white being super girly with all of the princess stuff and also just being very subtly Disney which is my favorite kind of Disney so yeah really good job on this bibbity and that is it for this month so just three items but i would say they are definitely all very solid items let's go ahead and grab our little invoice sheet we've got our packing slip here so we have disney park donut ear headband for 27.99 we have the Disney Princess Damask wallet, so it is Damask, totally knew that, and that is $37. And then the Castle Babe Co. Fantasy Pin, the Daisy Ice Cream, was $12.50 for a total retail value of $77.49, which is above the box's retail value of $69. So yeah, really solid job this month, and I really love this. I feel like I'm actually just gonna maybe put this up in my like background somewhere with all of my little pink and white sections. Um, yeah, really pretty. I really like this. And I'm super excited to put something cute together for those donut ears so that I can show those off in an Instagram photo very soon. All right, guys, let me know what your favorite item this month was or if we are twins on anything. I will chat with you guys down in the comments below and I will see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.